before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I will show up directly. So at the moment I'm here in Frankfurt and this is my train which is taking, which is going to take us to Fulda. So welcome back once again guys, if you are someone new to my channel, my name is Niklesh and uh, Make sure that you watch this video till the end if you want to watch Hopsule Fulda. And this is my train. We are just approaching Fulda uh, railway station. From here, we'll go through the city and then the university. So yeah. We hardly did it. Showroom at it. One day bike will be shown. Not just showroom. <laughs> <laughs> railway station we just quickly head out from here and then uh, I have a friend who's gonna join us here on the campus tour so this is where we're gonna head out now they want to say my name but they hold him back they want to say they hate but they know it's cap I ain't play no games I just do that's fact and I don't feel no shame it's a mood you lack I go crazy so there's a taxi stand right here and there's a bus stop right there from frankfurt if you're coming and if you're buying one way ticket it's going to cost you 16 euro some cents basically 17 euro i paid uh, i bought like a day ticket which costed me around 31 euros because I, I will also of course once i'm done filming here i'll also go back to frankfurt so yeah this is where the bus stop is right here this is what the main entrance uh, looks like i just came out from here Track after track, I work on the shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these And right opposite to this, uh, you have seems like a very important street in the city, uh, which I'm gonna learn now. What is this whole place about? I've got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather leave them be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread with them. Right opposite to the station, we're gonna start walking towards the uh, city center. And uh, we'll, this is a shopping street basically. As soon as you come out of the station, a uh, lot of supermarkets are there, food stores are there, clothing brands are there. Uh, and uh, more or less where it's a commercial street of the uh, city of Fulda. Where are we right now? Uh, we are at the Fulda's Burger Amt. This is where we get our city registration done. So you'll have to do city registration here as soon as you come because this piece of document will then enable you to open your, unblock your blocked account or also get yourself into any sort of contract in this country. Uh, so make sure that to get the city registration done, you need to have an accommodation. And, and when you're looking for an accommodation, always check with people if they're willing to give you an meldung or not. 
and if people are not giving you that that means uh, you can just stay there but your registration of that address can't be done always ask people are you going to give me city registration or not so having a rental contract and your passport and the current visa will get you that piece of paper when you're going to enter this country you will be given visa for either 3 months or 6 months depending on how much studies are left uh, this is the entrance this is a building where you're supposed to come and get your visa extended make sure that you have your enough financial backing up because your visa are visas are extended normally here in germany on the amount of funds you show them in your blocked account so make sure that you have a good financial backing up uh, when you study even though your studies are free basically you're not paying any tuition fees but just the semester contribution but your cost of living they will really scrutinize you if you don't have that okay so to get to auslander bure of course there are many ways to get to depending on where exactly you are in the city but the closest bus stop what i'm seeing here is uh, kurfürstenstrasse and you get down here and then right opposite to the street that's where building is that's the building this is the main bus stop to hochschule fulda and see this side this is the hochschule fulda uh the main campus and we have to cross the road to get there but um in order to come to this bus stop you have to take bus number 6 as well as bus number 16 uh which comes directly from the bahnhof and yeah we're going to go on the other side this is where the whole university starts all the yellow buildings and there are more buildings deep inside so we're going to cross the road and go towards the entrance you can see on this building it's uh, hochschule fulda it's engraved on the wall right here uh, i have couple of friends joining me on campus tour friend whom i was with he had to leave uh, that was the bus stop where i showed you number 6 and number 16 will get you from main station of fulda say hi So she's studying bachelor's in business management. International international business, business management. management. He's studying master's in Angewandte Informatik. It's a German version of GSD. That's Global Software Development. Right. And yeah. your program is in English or German? In German. In German. Yeah. Fully German talk. Fully program. German. Cool. Is this the main entrance to enter the Hochschule Fulda? Uh, yeah, it's a kind of main entrance, but we have another couple of entrances over there. One entrance from there. and one entrance from the other side okay <laughs> cool cool so this is where we're going to start walking in this will take us to the main square right yes yes so my first question for both of you is if there is someone who's watching us and they've got the admission and they're coming to fulda yeah. what is the fastest way to get to the city you come to frankfurt airport and then you go to hauptbahnhof from hauptbahnhof you take the train directly to fulda it's a non stop train and it comes directly to fulda There okay. are basically two trains. Okay. So one is ICE, mm -hmm. which doesn't stop much, and another one is regional bahn that is called RB, mm -hmm. and you can take that, and you'll reach here in one and a half hours. So it's either ICE or RB, yeah. regional bahn. Okay. What is building number thirty-two? You said like you had an exam here. Yeah. Yeah. So last time, uh, last time in pandemic, uh, we had our on-campus exam, uh, only few, and I did my one of the, those exams in this building. Okay, right here. And I got my scholarship in this building, so I just you won. You definitely remember this, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I remember because I, we were all sitting here, and then we just got scholarship for being good in German. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Yeah. What about these buildings? These yellow buildings. Ah. This is actually for nursing studies yeah. or Pflege. Gesundheit or the Pflege technik. Pflege technik, yeah. yeah. Like here they use uh, the buildings for different purposes. Yes, also, yes, right? exactly. So there's not like a dedicated department for something. Yes, I think this one is much more like nursing, as she said, and a lot of things with medicine is going on in this building. But I personally have never been to this building okay, as far. Well. Yeah. Let me show you something. Okay. Is this whole thing part of the university? Yes, yes. These are basically the swings here. Okay. Yeah. And students come here in the evening and basically chill here. 
Okay. There are the swings you can see. And yeah, coolest place. Coolest here. place <laughs> in our university. So this is the coolest place of university. Uh, this is kind of the coolest place. We have two, uh, three, uh, two gardens. Like uh, one is this one, again this one, and then there is one more garden over the other side. Okay. So here you can get swings. And you can get free apples. <laughs> free apples? Yes. We'll show so, them where are they are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now they are not because of the season. But yes, there are pretty much 10-15 um, plant uh, trees and just apples grows there and you can get them. You can okay. just but you can take them home. Okay. You can just get them and eat here if you want. Okay. This is a swing they were talking about. Yes. Okay. And where where are the apples? Uh, it's not season, mm. but these these are, are the, the flowers yeah. right yeah, now. Yeah, from apple. You can see <laughs> the uh, yeah. Let's show them. Yeah. This is the apple tree he was talking about. This is where it is. Yeah. There are a lot of them here. Oh, there's baby apple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is this building? Where are we right now? Uh, this is a building, basically office of career coordinator. Um, uh, people here actually help students for making their CVs or how they can uh, look for any internship or after uh, finishing their studies, how they can uh, look for a good job or a desired job, they can um, consult about those things. So this is our Zelf uh, Centrum. We used to do group studies here. So there is a kids room over there. Then inside this building, there is a sleeping room also. There are like 10 to 12 beds over there. You can sleep and you can prepare for your presentations, your you can talk here in these buildings. So they're basically students just do group studies over there. Got it. Yeah, and one important thing: in this room on Saturdays you get free coffee. What? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So for eighty cents, basically, for eighty cents you get coffee for the whole day, or tea, as okay. you would like. <laughs> Only on yeah. Saturday. Only on Saturdays. Sundays are closed. But like other days, you do get coffee, though. You do get coffee. There is a machine. You have to basically pay for the machine, but on Saturdays there is yeah. Uh, for eighty cents, you can get as much coffee as you want. But, but you just have to pay once. Yeah, you and you can drink once. as much as you want. Yes. Interesting. Okay, yeah. and but this yeah. is like a, this is a chill place. Yeah. This will stay us straight. Take us straight to the Menza. It's right there. Exactly. Huh. So this is the Menza is right there. Yeah, this is the place during Hochschul Tage. Uh, there used to be a fest for three days before Corona and f three to four days. So people would put their stands over here for food from different countries. They would present their food. You can basically come and buy their food. They would put some money on the food. Yeah, for two euros, three euros, you can get some food. You can get beers and three days you are partying here. <laughs> Quick question. What yeah. is the cost of living here as a student? Uh, that I would say it's somewhat near about 300 to 350 but depends upon where you're living if you are in the student uh, buildings from the university side then you would have around 250 to 300 if you are in a VG, which is PG then you are paying somewhat 300 to 350 it can go to 400 as well but right now you're just talking about accommodation just accommodation I'm yeah. also interested to know what about food what about insurance what about miscellaneous cost Yes, then I would say for a month you would pay somewhat nearly 550 to 600. You can think of that much price. Okay. Yes, 500 to uh, 600, 650. The most uh, cost you have to pay for your rent and your health insurance basically. Yeah. <laughs> and food, it definitely depends on you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your preference? Preference, yeah. that's it. What about like what SIM cards do you use here? Uh, I use Libara. Libara. Yeah. Okay. I use Aldi. I, I Aldi. would recommend Aldi Tech because it's somewhat better with more internet mm -hmm. and less price. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. What local bank account do you have your accounts here? Uh, I have my account in Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do have in Commerce Bank. Commerce Bank. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We just showed you building number 41. There are some more buildings. That's 42. I can see all the way at the corner. This is what we showed you. Uh, and then from here this used to be the coolest food truck that we had here in Fulda I hope the Mensa won't mind it but <laughs> yes they had really best fries and they had nice dinner they had really good burgers over here really 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 good food 
I mean, people <laughs> yeah. like us come coming from uh, Asia. Yeah. We really miss street food. Yeah, I mean, this was the street food that we had, <laughs> and there used to be lines still over there just to have the food. Really? Yeah. Okay. From this truck. So they would sell fish and chips, hot dogs, woke. Okay. Uh huh. Interesting. Well, um, so they on the campus, the there's yes. a charging point. There is a charging point. So in I front of that <laughs> truck, in building <laughs> yeah. number forty. Okay. Right. right. <laughs> There are two charging points. Oh my god, this right? is this amazing. is working yeah. and okay. I used to sit here last semester. Like right here. Yeah, exactly, at the <laughs> spot and I have prepared for two semesters on this place. This was one of my favorite places to sit and work. This tree, beautiful flowers on this tree. You, we are a little bit late. It it's mesmerizing when you see it in like in, in May and April and May beautiful tree and you have apples over there as well and again more <laughs> apples yeah <there>. okay <laughs> yeah so we are right now in front of 46 number building uh, this is the area which we showed you uh, that was a food truck and then that, that's where the plug points were and now this is where we are we are heading towards the cafe somewhere there is a cafe here yes. but like before that there's a building number 46 right here so tell us what is building number 46 so about this building is basically ded dedicated for information so angewandte informatik that the course that i'm doing okay so this yeah. is your department yeah this is my department okay we call it building e okay. so we call it gebäude a uh -huh. yeah and here we have nice things going on there is a virtual reality lab over there on the third floor there mm -hmm. is linux lab i think we have three linux labs over here and there is a uh, mac lab also and a lot of lectures uh, takes place here and yeah this whole building uh, is dedicated for information technology yeah. this, is this is our sport hall uh 45 building is a oh hochschule sport hall okay yeah. hey what are the famous hostels around the city where people usually stay if you can name some there is heinrich von Bibelplatz. a lot of students it's in the city okay. directly uh, and another one Wiesenmühle. is Wiesenmühlenstrasse yeah. there's the there is a dome. It's very famous, a famous and popular place in Fulda. Yeah. Behind that dome, there is a dormitory. Um, that's called Vision Moon Yeah. That's also from and university. And then there is one on the other side Behind of the these university. Buildings. Yeah. Kugebäude. Kugebäude. <laughs> Student <Wohnheim>. okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is our famous place. Another a lot of parties. Coffee. Yeah. Center. Okay. Coffee center. You can have food. We ha used to conduct Diwali parties here. Wait, where? Inside? Inside, inside, yes. This is building number E again. Yeah. E again, yeah. 46. Okay. This is the 46 E, okay. Yes. Really beautiful stories to this place. Every single week they would have one movie, right? And it would be like on Thursdays and Fridays, basically. So we all sit here. There is a projector over there. So you put the screen down. You just watch the movie all together. And there you have coffees. You can have some bread, some sweets and in case of some occasions or festivals you just have celebrations over here you just have to take the uh, permissions from asta and yeah you can conduct your celebrations over here. we had diwali party here mm. so next to this cafe cows uh we are heading to this place hall eight what is this is it a big classroom yes yes uh <laughs> for my first semester i did my all of maximum of classes here okay. uh, in hall, hall number eight we usually also use this hall number eight for any uh program or occasion from university too yeah i think there were zumba classes here and there are like some some hackathons going on they conduct here in hall Ak. people with their computers come here servers come here like they, they basically come ev with everything and then there are three days direct gaming competitions going on in here coding competitions going on in here intercultural occasions also here and, and in also the some evening. affairs like yeah. carrier festival yeah. also carrier festival here. also yeah so job messer mm -hmm. used to be conducted in here got it yeah. is that where asta office is yes. yes maybe for people they may not know what is asta can you tell them quickly um, ASTA is basically a student organization. They would help students in case there are problems. Yeah, and as you can see, Algemeine 
Studierendenausschuss der Hochschule Fulda ist ASTA. <lacht> That means yeah. in general, all yeah. of the general student help center. Yeah. If you have any accommodation problem, if you want to uh, uh, find difficulties finding jobs, you are finding financial help. or legal yes. help. Yes, everything. If you there can is financial or legal problem, you can directly contact to ASTA. They are really nice people. Yeah, there. very yes. powerful. I've seen them yeah. across Germany in yes, a lot of yes. different universities. So this is food department and electronics department. Uh, the electronics department is over to that side and the food department I think is over to this side. Yeah, this is nice building. The researches are going on here. All the practical work is going on here. Physics lab is over there on that side. It's a very nice lab. It's two stories lab. Very, really good place to have your experiments done. <laughs> After showing you everything from this side, uh, we just we've just come to the uh, main square of the university. Uh, I'm going to ask both of you to yeah. tell us what buildings are these right here. We started from there and we went to that side of the university and we see, saw everything over there. Now this is our student service center. So this place is the place where you, all the international students will um, communicate here. Uh, this is the place also where you will get your uh, cards, uh, your applications you can submit over here. You can pay your bills. So basically all the student related services you can get it from here. Is this a place where I should come on first day for enrollment? If you would like to have your enrollment directly to the university, then yes, definitely. And you will get your student card from here. Student ID card yes, is given from yes, there? Yes, yes, on okay. the first uh, ground floor itself. Now we are in front of our menza, our food stuffs we can find from here. Basically, uh, during the classes, if uh, especially in midday, you can find your main meal here and any kind of snacks, coffee, you can uh, eat together here with your friends. The cool place is it's a two-story building again. Cool, and they have some sitting arrangements right outside here. Uh, so just to show you, this is where the student service center is. Uh, and right next to that, this is where cafeteria Menza is. And next to that, we have something very important, the uh, library. So where are we right now? We are right now in front of a library that Hochschule und Bibliothek. There is also a group uh, discussion room too. If you want to discuss with your peers, you can do it also here. Uh, Bibliothek has two floors, ground floor and then first and then second floor. You can't see right now, but the upper part of the Bibliothek is really cool. You can get coffee. There is a place just separated for you, for you to drink coffee. There is a sonic chair. You can sit in that chair, listen to music, you can rotate in that chair. There are fans in that chair. That's really awesome if you experience that thing And in the person. view yeah. from that chair is really awesome. awesome. You can uh, see the whole uh, backside of Fulda from that yeah. place. <laughs> okay, where does this lead us to now? Uh, this leads us to the basketball ground, football ground and the garden. And then there are other buildings, basically the student uh, centers are there, uh, student Wohnheim. There are different faculties there. Yeah, there are different faculties okay. over there. So this is the main square which we showed you. We went, we covered all of that. Student service center, Menza, and then the library right here. So we just came behind library and uh, there is a whole of sports area right here. There's a basketball court right there. And these yellow buildings, what you see, these are, they belong to different faculties, you said, right? Yeah. yeah. And then this is 20 building. You uh, said you had your classrooms here. Yes, this my classrooms are yeah. there. <laughs> I really did make economics class hall. here. <laughs> really big lecture hall, yeah. Huh? Yes. That's written Kurs Unterrichtsraum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What's the name of yeah. that accommodation right there? Student Wohnheim Kuhgebäude. <laughs> okay, so yeah. this is the Kuhgebäude yes. you're talking <laughs> about. What about like part-time job situations here in the city? Students who are doing basically computer science, it's not very big of a problem. But otherwise, uh, you have good opportunities to work in restaurants. They are now open and I see a lot of students going there. I myself have worked in a restaurant when everything was open. So yeah, th there are opportunities if yeah one would like to find. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, but for other students who is not doing their technical subjects, so it's a bit difficult to find a part-time job here. Yeah. They must uh, um, know the basic Germans at least, and uh, with those things, I can yeah. they can easily find a part-time job here. Yes. So okay. I would suggest for everybody who basically wants to come to Germany to learn German because I learned German and I got my job in restaurant first job. Otherwise, no restaurant would was wanted to accept because we don't know German you know so what's your message last message for people who are watching us right now um, it's a wonderful university awesome university I would say P uh, teachers are really helpful especially in the time of Corona I had so much problems they always 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 helped us mm -hmm. nice people everybody's so helpful I would say that I really love this university this university made Germany my home okay yeah. nice okay I would like to say before coming here, do your own research and as uh, our friend said, professors are really helpful whenever you mail them for any help, they will reply you and this is an open place to open up yourself.